Hello everyone and welcome to episode 25 and this is probably won't be a full episode so I'm just going to put this as episode 25 now and it might get adapted in the future. So in this episode what we're going to focus in on is Todoist and utilizing their notes feature. For anyone that doesn't know what Todoist is, is Todoist is a task management application that allows you to add um, tasks, collaborate with other team members and also kind of get projects done um, through their, the ability to add your open loops, which are uncompleted tasks, and uh, manage your kind of things you need to do throughout your day and projects, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a big old task management application, a very popular one with over 4 million users. And I use it every day and I find it brilliant. So what we're going to focus in on within Todoist is the information system. So if we look at the screen here, um, there is on every single task, this four lined uh, kind of icon. And basically what this four lined icon means is it means that you can go into a task and add some context or content to it. So I'm just gonna make the screen a little bigger so that everyone can see and we can see the full scale of this. So this is a note and I've noted this as for Twitter. And this is for me, I don't use this within a team, but here I can add links, I can add images, um, I can add video links, like it goes, like that just took me to somewhere else, which is great. Um, other links, and also if I clicked here um, and click record, and uh, clicked allow there, I can actually record something and attach it to a note, um, to a uh, to a task. Now, you're probably wondering now, why is this beneficial? Um, why is this useful? Why are adding notes to tasks useful? And I originally thought, I said, like, when am I ever going to use this? But I've actually found it a useful tool uh, in two areas. One, when I'm on my own, and two, when I'm in a team. So one, when I'm on my own. When I'm on my own um, and I want to try and remember something or I have one device or another, I like to uh, add something for later so that I can, um, so for example, I'm just going to, sorry, I explained it a bit wrong. Um, this is an example of me utilizing it for social media. So this task is called for Twitter, right? And I don't ever uncomplete or complete this task. But what I do is when I finish a graphic on the computer, I will then take that, upload it to this as a note, then when I go over to my iPhone, I can see the image straight up through the comments on this. So it almost works as a uh, like a time machine. So I, I can go from my computer and over to my um, over to my device, and I see that it's stored that for me, and I can pick it up for later, which is great. And it's also good for um, note taking as well. So if I've got this link, if I see some notes, um, if I if I'm like oh, uh, I need to remember about this, um, then I can quickly put that down and add a bit of context to the note, which is really, really, use really, really useful. Um, and I do this to a lot of different notes, which is great. It, it builds up this, when you go in and do the task, you can see all the information that's right there, which is great. Um, so for me, I use it as a social media tool. I actually um, put all the posts I need to put out through here, um, and then I can easily uh, remember which ones um, are gone out and which ones need to go out. So it's almost like a uh, an in-tray for social media, which is really, really useful. Um, for Teams, so for example, if I was on a team task um, all the way down here, so I need to take some cool photos, then what I could do is I could write a note here. I probably used a bad example for this one. Okay, let's, let's just say, um, let's just say hello and assign this to myself within the team for tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna go into this task, and now what I can do is, which is a little deeper when you're in, within a team, is I can add comments, so I can just say, ah, ha, 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 I don't know why, put a smiley face there, and also I can choose who in the team is gonna get notified this. So I can choose everyone to be notified, or I can choose specific people, which is really useful. Um, then I can still add the context that I need to. What's great about the context is it doesn't just stop you at the computer, attachments on the computer. It allows you to embed it with Google Drive um, or embed it with Dropbox, which are really two useful storage tools. 
So now I can add some more context, have a conversation with someone, um, chat a little about a specific task so that I can add more and more context. So if I put up a task saying, um, you need to complete this, and then they, they need to ask a question about it, instead of them having to go all the way over to a communication tool, ask me there, they can fire a comment directly on the task. I can see it pop up in my notification station here, and it's that's really, really useful in time. I'm just going to complete that task so it's not um, so it's not there. Awesome stuff. So thanks very much, guys, and I hope that was useful. I mean, I definitely would start using the note feature in um, in Todoist. Um, if you don't, then uh, you need premium to be able to access the note feature. Um, it's premium is about eighteen pound a year, which is pretty cheap for what you get. Um, but I mean, the note feature is really beneficial and especially if you're a social media manager or anyone like that, so useful for bringing that information in. Thanks very much guys and have a great week.